Dale Mathis coming to you from my home studio in Sun City, Arizona. And today, this is another segment of the Dale Mathis Slow and Easy Accordion Lessons. And these tunes, two tunes today, are fill-in tunes or solo tunes to add to Lesson 13 or, you know, it's probably better to say Chapter 13 because I do include a lot of songs in each segment, uh, sometimes as many as seven or eight songs. So, uh, in these tunes today, uh, I am playing the Roland FR4X Digital Accordion. And uh, as many of you know, uh, we are the uh, large Roland Accordion dealer for all of the U.S. We cannot ship accordions out of the U.S., so uh, we can only ship accordions to folks who live in the U.S. And so today I'm playing the Roland FR4X, and uh, for this tune, uh, Singing in Harmony, uh, which you will find at mycrownmusic.net, and then you use the Free Lessons tab up in the upper right-hand corner, and click on the tab that says Lessons 10 through, or 11 through 20, I guess that would be the way to find it, uh, Lesson 13, Singing in Harmony. So... What we're talking about in today's song, or what I'm talking about, uh, here is the 4X. And so the sounds that I used, first off, I turned on the orchestra bass, and then I went over here to the bass side and I hit register number three, and it gives me this bass guitar. And for the chord, I turned on orchestra chord, and I went down to this last register, uh, number seven, and got this piano sound. Okay, so that's the sounds for the left hand. And then for the right hand, um, I used again the turn on set and register number two for the accordion sound. Whoops, let's turn on accordion. <laughs> So there's the accordion sound, and then I played this through a couple of times, and you know, when I hit the uh, orchestra, I used the clarinet sound, and that is in register number six when you've got orchestra turned on, and I also used uh, organ sound for these tunes, and that one was number five, and... Um, the thing, when you first turn the accordion on, the number five actually sounds like this. And if you hit that register number five a second time, listen what happens. Hear the tremolo come up. If I hit it again. It slows down. This is to simulate the Leslie speaker system that is commonly used with the Hammond organs. The Leslie speaker have speakers that actually spin, so you get that spinning sound because it's a motor that turns those baffles. So those are the sounds that I used. All right, so now the point about uh, singing in harmony song um, the notes that I made is introducing harmony uh, into your right hand, playing an A minor chord and a D7 chord. So looking at the left hand, it's G chord is the beginning. Let's turn this camera down a little bit here. There we go. So the G chord, which is right above C, so it's your G chord. And then the next chord is A minor, so you've got to jump up past the D, up to the A, and then push your finger, your second finger back so that you get the minor chord. That's what it sounds like. So here's the, with the bass. And now you're gonna have the D7 chord. This is another stretch in your hand. So you're gonna put your third finger down to D, and uh, actually your fourth finger, we're gonna use fourth finger for this and reach back your second finger back to the fifth row and you're going to play the seventh chord. 
that's what it sounds like. Let me turn off the orchestra, bass, and chords so you can hear it that way also. That's what the chord sound is. Here's the bass. Okay, and that pattern repeats over and over. So it's G major chord, A minor, D7, G. Now it starts all over again. G, A minor, D7. practice that a gazillion times so that you get used to finding where those buttons are in your left hand side. So the melody is in the key of G. Uh, I wrote this as uh, so that it would be in a relatively small area. And again I'm writing a lot of these tunes just to give you skills because granted these are not tunes that you're going to go out and play for a party or something but they are just to give you the skills you need so that when you do want to play songs that everybody knows that you know how to find these buttons and how to do some of these things in your right hand so the melody goes uh, and I've written in the fingering numbers I don't like that sound let's change it to accordion and you notice that even though it's a five note stretch you're using your fourth finger now you got to reach up to the A minor chord D7 chord oh here's an F sharp So it doesn't, uh, there's no marking in front of that F, but because it's in the key of G and there's an F sharp in the key signature, you do have to play an F sharp there. And now here's the harmony. That's why I called this song Singing in Harmony, because you're going to use your fifth finger and your third finger, and you're going to play those two notes, the D and the B. another F sharp okay so that's the basic instructions for that tune and now in the next tune uh, feeling like the 50s now you've got an even bigger jump because the song starts in the key of C, so you play with your C bass button and chord. And this one does have alternating, so I hope, if you're not comfortable with alternating at this point, just skip it and just play bass chord, bass chord over and over, you know, it would be rather than doing. It's, so the, the alternating part is written in. So the first chord is C. Now you've got to jump up to an A minor chord, so that's a big jump. You've got to get over the G, the D, and reach up to the A, and get your finger back to the minor. And then you move down one to the D minor, and then G. And that pattern just plays over and over and over. for the uh, sounds that I used for the recording it was the orchestra bass and chord and I think I even turned the drums on so it ended up sounding like this and that pattern just keeps repeating over and over and now let me bring in uh, the melody let's take the organ sound so here we go.
So there's that tune for you. So all skills that you need to eventually play songs that you really love, even though these are just more or less little exercises, they're just little ditties. Try and make them as pleasant as possible to help uh, you learn all these new skills. So again, uh, thank you so much for watching my series. I do get very nice feedback from the folks. A lot of folks have played years ago and now they're just getting back into it again like 30, 40 years later. And uh, so all of these lessons are very helpful just to remember all the things that you used to know and you thought you forgot, but now I'm helping you to remember. And if you would like your own Roland accordion from Crown Music with all the fabulous Dale Mathis sounds, you know, I have to tell you in every video that I completely modify all the Roland accordions that are sold by Crown Music. Uh, when they come directly from the factory, they are rather wimpy sounding, especially the 8X. Uh, it's almost unplayable. And so I modify everything and make them magnificent sounding. So if you're interested in one, uh, we've got them in stock at Crown Music in Sun City, Arizona. Here's Donna Thomas store phone number. And uh, you put in your order and we get it shipped out to you and make you a happy camper. So thanks so much for watching. Give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel and we'll see you again next time.